Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. Well, we have a very exciting update from Donald Trump Jr. that you do not want to miss. There is a full new video interview where Donald Trump Jr. and Jim Jordan sit down and talk about everything. I will have the full video linked below and use code Trump at sign up when you click that link along with my full full commentary, but we're going to play a little bit of it today because I think this is super important. This is going down at the CPAC, the Conservative Political Action Conference, I believe is what it stands for. But before we jump in, wanted to read from the Bible. Of course, the Bible is amazing. Um, and <laughs> it's Sunday. Happy Sunday, my friends. I hope you all have an amazing day. This comes, I'm going to read one of my favorite verses today. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides, he guides me in paths of righteousness for his namesake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That's Psalm 23. My friends, it's so good to be here with you all. I just have to say I've missed being with you all, and I feel so great to be here. I'm drinking my coffee. It's late at night for me right now. <laughs> it's uh, past my bedtime, but you know, the, the, the conference is going on, the CPAC's going on, and things are heating up. The new polls are coming out that Donald Trump is in the lead over Ron DeSantis for the Republican primary, uh, gosh, I can't even say that. The person <laughs> to be the Republican um, president, president primary. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and, you know, people are announcing they're running for president. It's Things are heating up. You got Nikki Haley out there, people chanting Trump while she's, people chanting out, we love Trump, we love Trump, while she's trying to take selfies with people. Um, Mike Pompeo's coming out and s slamming Donald Trump with, gosh, I don't know. Things are heating up, but wanted to share this video with Donald Trump Jr. and Jim Jordan. Again, I'll have the full video link below. You can sign up. Um, but also wanted to thank our sponsor, Birch Gold. Birch Gold is a company. If you are uh, tired of the spending of the left devaluing your savings and you want to put your money into gold and precious metals, you can. We have a link below. And also they help people convert their 401ks and Roth IRAs into gold IRAs. So if that's something you're interested in, use our link below, and they're gonna send you a free 20 page info kit. You can learn everything. 20 pages of free information about investing in gold and precious metals. So check it out below if you'd like. It's free and it helps us out when you do so. You can do it, even if you're not interested. Just do it to help us out, it takes two minutes. Okay, let's jump in. Um, I love this. This is an awesome video from Donald John Trump Jr. Is that his middle name? Donald John Trump Jr. Or is it just Donald Trump Jr.? Here we go. At least you're a small business. At least you're creating something unlike the clowns on the left. So thanks a lot, guys. And with that, we're going to go to our incredible guest. Here we go. Guys. Yeah, there Let's we go. Start. We're back on another. This is a video. long video. This is over an hour long. An all-round badass. Not just a badass in Congress uh, and on TV, uh, but a badass that started out as a badass long time ago. Long as time it, ago. It, uh, I I'm sorry, I don't usually cuss on my show, but he said, I'm sorry. We usually don't cuss on here, but Donald Trump Jr., I guess I gotta leave it in. National champion wrestler. Long time uh, ago. Jim, how do, how do you go from national champion multiple time, I guess, uh, wrestler, to Congress. Wait, what's that transition like? Actually, not. I love Jim Jordan. I love how everybody's gathering. You got Trump there. You got Mike Pompeo, Nikki Haley, Jim Jordan, Donald Trump Jr. Let's keep watching. 
not much of a transition at all because you're all you're always fighting, you're always, uh, fighting the left. Except uh, the Democrats are a little bit more greasy yeah, than the opponents it, that you are wrestling. Yeah, and there's and they, they come at you. It's not just one opponent. You got them coming, as you know, from yeah. all sides. Oh my! Um, but no you know, I really thought I really wanted Jim Jordan to be Speaker of the House, but I do have to say he is doing a really good job at um, being. Uh, he's the lead, he's the leader of the Judiciary Committee, I believe. Oh, no, look, I was I was in coaching, and it's, it, it was either time to be try to be a head coach in the Big Ten or do something different. And and I was getting sick of government taking all your money and telling you what to do and insulting your values. And I said I'm going to run for office, and so I've been in politics a while now. But um, there's some similarities, like a good committee hearing. Yeah. When you got when that witness, when you when you believe and sort of know that that witness has lied to the folks that I get the privilege of representing back in the fourth district of Ohio. Yeah. Then you sort of got to treat it like a wrestling match, and you got to you got to be pretty aggressive and go after them. Okay, but this is what I love about people like Jim Jordan. This is why it's so important, and a lot of you guys. I mean, not you guys, but a lot of people don't realize how important it is to have people like Jim Jordan. By the way, if you don't know who Jim Jordan is, he's a congressman. He is one of the House of Representatives uh, from Ohio representing the Republican Party. He's one of the major figures in Congress who day in and day out, they're debating topics that directly impact our lives. These topics that they're debating, remember, we've voted these people in to the House of Representatives. There's what, is it 453 House of Representatives number? Is it 453? How many people are in the House of Representatives? 435, I always get those numbers mixed up. There's, we voted in 435 people to debate the topics that represent we, the people, like America, and then what happens is these people, the House of Representatives, Jim Jordan's one of them, they talk about all these topics, then they try to pass something, it gets sent over to the Senate. Then what happens? The Senate talks about it. Then it gets sent over to the President's desk. And then all of a sudden, now we have laws. This is, these are how um, you know, things are made. And it's important to, to we have really good, trustworthy people like Jim Jordan. They were talking about how he used to be a wrestling coach. And now he's a member of Congress and he's like that's why he joined is because he wanted to fight for something that he really believed in and you know it's great so i will have the full interview linked down below i just wanted to make that quick video update donald trump jr donald trump jr is um you know just saying some really awesome things he it, he talked with jim jordan the house intel committee call on intelligence officials um it's uh yeah it's just a really great interview so Make sure to check it out. Otherwise, let me know your thoughts on Jim Jordan, Donald Trump Jr. Oh, and one last huge update is that Donald Trump Jr. actually made a poll to be the next president of the United States. Let me show you guys this super, super quickly. Uh, this also is on our website, thepatriotdrone.com. But um, there was just a recent poll done in Virginia with eight potential candidates and Trump held an 11 point lead over Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in a hypothetical GOP primary uh, for 2024. A Roanoke College poll released Thursday found Trump leading a pack of eight possible GOP presidential candidates with 39% of Virginia Republicans preferring him to be their party's 2024 nominee followed by DeSantis 28%. I'm sorry if I speak too fast. Can you please let me know if I speak too fast or if you like me to go fast? Because I know some people are like, we like quick, quick news. Other people are like, don't slow down. <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes I just drink my coffee and I just can't stop talking. Trump and DeSantis were the two clear top contenders. In third place was Glenn Youngkin. Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin scored third place in a potential hypothetical GOP primary for 2024. What do you guys think about Glenn Youngkin? Um, and then also other people on the list was Mike Pence. God help us if Mike Pence becomes the next president. Senator Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, and then Donald Trump Jr. was also on that list. So I just have to say, I don't see any world where Donald Trump Jr. announces that he's running because him debating his father, I just don't, I, I don't think, I think Donald Trump Jr. has too much respect. 
Nikki Haley, though, apparently did promise Donald Trump that she would never run against him, and now she did. But Donald Trump is saying that there's no harsh feelings, so he did take the respectable route. So we will see what happens, guys. Let me know if you watched the CPAC. Donald Trump gave a fiery speech. A lot of people are up there. A lot of people are coming together. So this is a big weekend. Uh, happy Sunday. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Check out our link below for Birch Gold to get your free 20-page info kit on gold if you're interested in investing in gold and precious metals. We've obviously seen how the stock market has been performing. The value of the US dollar has been declining. So if you want to protect your savings in a tax sheltered savings account, you can convert your 401k or Roth IRA into a gold IRA. Use our link below or go to birchgold.com slash finance zone to get started today. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.